Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. So today I'm here to test out something very exciting. I'm so happy that I got it. So I am going to be reviewing the I Heart Revolution Little Mermaid palette. <laughs> I mean if you guys don't know much about me, I am a huge Disney fan. Little Mermaid is my second favourite Disney movie ever made. Um, and Beauty and the Beast is my first. I have done a list before, um, I think it must have been about a year ago, um, that I filmed my top 10 Disney movies if you want to check that out. But yeah, I Heart Revolution have come out with another palette to kind of go alongside their other Disney princesses palette, which um, I only had the um, Beauty and the Beast one because it was so freaking gorgeous. Um, that I've also tried another Disney collab that they did with the Nightmare Before Christmas. Technically this is still Disney, but um, this falls into kind of the revolution section and not I Heart Revolution. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I really love this palette. And these two palettes are quite similar in the sense of with this palette you will get one side which is blushes and highlighters. And then on one side you will get eyeshadows. With this palette, for example, you only get eyeshadows. So there's a big difference in those ones. But yeah, I'm here to try out the Little Mermaid one. I was, I picked it up this morning from my post office because my, um, yeah, the postman are always very weird in my area. So I missed the delivery yesterday. So I had to get up super early to pick it up because my post office is only open for a couple of hours in the day. Um, but yeah, I got this from the Revolution website. It was £15, which, again, is a little bit pricey for Revolution. But when you think of It's Disney, you're getting a lot of eyeshadows, a lot of kind of face uh, kind of products as well. Um, they also came out with the lip, lip toppers and a separate highlighter. So previously, um, when they came out with the Beauty and the Beast, the Cinderella and the Princess and the Frog series, um, they also came out with eyelashes. I don't think they did this time. Um, and they also did do separate highlighters and also lip toppers. Highlighters were a massive disappointment for me, including the Nightmare Before Christmas one. I'm just not, they just didn't do anything for me. Um, eyelashes, I'm not much of an eyelash person, so I didn't want to waste any more money in that section. And then the separate highlighter that they would have had with this collection. I mean, when you open this, it comes with a blush and highlighter, so I really don't need any more. This was like the perfect kind of selection for me. Um, and then, yeah, when you open it, you got the eyeshadows on one side and you got the highlighters and the blushes. So I'll be trying those today. That's why I'm looking a lot more paler than normal. Uh, but when you look at the packaging, it's the same with the um, previous one because they're meant to look like books, essentially. But with this one, I don't know, obviously I'm not reviewing <laughs> the Nightmare Before Christmas one, but that doesn't have it on the spine, but I guess that doesn't count as a Disney princess. But um, yeah, that, this is the actual palette, but the packaging, outside packaging is exactly the same. So you won't really need this one just to protect it to be honest so when you look at the color selection there is a really nice selection of shades even though i was thinking about this last night actually um a lot of the shades are not relevant i feel might not be as relevant to maybe what you would connect with little mermaid like when you think of ariel i think of red hair I mean, when you look at her, her, you know, a mermaid is green and I guess her bra top is purple. So that's why they might have done the light purple. Um, and yeah, I mean, the colour section is really nice. I was thinking about what type of look today to do today. And I'm going to do a purple one because, <laughs> I mean, if I do another red one, I'll just be repeating myself way too much. So I'm going to do some purples today, but I'm going to start off with the blush and highlighter because I feel like... I need to do the rest of my base before I do that. So we have Part of Your World, Make a Splash and Total Catch, which look like blushes. And then when it comes to highlighters, we've got the Heart of the Sea, Under the Sea and Rule the Wave. So I'm going to go in with my blush brush, <laughs> it's a tongue tied, and I am actually going to try Make a Splash today. So it's a nice kind of pinky coral, um, blush so I've just dipped in one of my spectrum brushes 
I'm going to take off the excess and we're going to just use the apples of my cheeks because that's where you put a blush and this one is definitely a bit more orange than I was kind of anticipating but we're just going to go with it and they do look super shimmery in the actual palette itself uh, but the this one doesn't come off as shimmery at all which is fine that's a nice glow it's pretty cute and then when it comes to highlighter i'm actually probably going to go in with heart of the sea which is this one just here so i'm hoping it's going to give me a nice highlighter today because I Heart Revolution sometimes do really good jobs. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> they do some really good jobs when it comes to their highlighters, but sometimes they can be absolutely terrible. Like the um, the Belle one, basically, from the Beauty and the Beast. And then the um, highlighter from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I just was not impressed. But I found it a bit cheeky that they were selling highlighters separately. That is really nice. Um, I kind of doubted myself a bit. Um, but yeah, I, I found it quite cheeky that they are selling highlighters separately. I think they sell them for £8. Um, there's a bit of fallout, which is kind of no surprise when it comes to these palettes, to be honest, you've got to be quite careful. Um, I kind of thought this might be a bronzer shade, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a, a highlighter and it is so I'm not actually going to use it as a bronzer today because I will just look weird um, so we're going to go on to the eyes I'm just going to quickly prep um, my eyelid with a uh, with the prime and lock and everything else I'm wearing on my face is just my project pan items if you're not sure what they are I always um, mention them in the description so I'm just going to quickly just blend because we don't want it to be clumpy so like I said, I'm going to do a purple look today just because though those were the colours that kind of stood out to me first. Which means, which doesn't mean I'm not going to use the other shades, of course, in another time I will. Um, shall I do some swatches? My swatching is really bad. Um, so I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna swatch the shades that I'm not going to use today. So I feel like I'm going to go in oh, with Sebastian because it's red. So we're going to go in with Sebastian first. And that is what I've picked up, so let's have a look. Yeah, that's alright. I mean, as soon as I blend out, I'm pretty sure it's just going to fade. Um, let's go in next with... Um, da -da -da -da. Let's go in with Ocean, just at the bottom here. So that's a light blue. Hmm, it's quite nice. I think the shimmers might be a bit more... Mm, yeah that, that's pretty nice again my swatching not very good I haven't been to the school of swatch so uh, let's let's just put it on my face now because we're going to be here all day with me swatching so like I said purple look today so I'm going to start off with my favorite villain of all time Ursula so I am going to take one of my ankle brushes from Primark and we're just going to dip into Ursula picks up quite well and let's see what we can do and straight away bam very nice I know it's quite frustrating this doesn't have a mirror I mean where would they put it but <laughs> I just feel like sometimes it is nice just to have palettes um with a, a mirror but again I have my own so can't go completely wrong but I'd rather yeah I'd rather have the selection of blushes and highlighter than a mirror when you think about it so I'm just gonna put this into the corner and that's picked up nicely it's got a little bit of patchiness to it but we're just gonna build it build it up and da -da -da. I mentioned in some of my recent videos how much I love this type of brush it just works really well with the kind of shape that I want with my eyeshadow especially it cost a pound from Primark so not too bad just to make sure it matches because I'm not <laughs> I'm known for having you know just applying my eyeshadow quite badly but we're getting there okay so Ursula is looking 
quite nice and let's go in with I want to go in with Ariel next because it's a light purple but I want to be quite careful because I want it to show up as well because it's kind of a pastel purple um, and I feel like it might not show up that well so I'm going to put her here and straight away I can't see nothing so I'm just going to add a bit more here better a bit better okay. this blush this brush is really dense than normal so I'm gonna pack it on essentially I'll put on as much as I can so it does have a better payoff I'm not saying it's terrible but it's not been the best but yeah, I would prefer the Ariel to be of a red colour because I feel like I would associate Ariel just a bit more. But I don't do the designing, so that's fine. <laughs> okay. I'm quite excited to see what princess they bring out next. I hope they bring out maybe Aurora. That might be like a, a kind of pink tone palette. Pink's not like my favourite um, eyeshadow, really. But if they did Aurora next, I'd be really happy about that. Um, let's go into, um, I kind of, I mean, there is a purple shimmer there, which I'm going to put on now, but I feel like I want to maybe add a blue as well, but I don't know if I completely ruin it. So that's picked up quite a bit. So I'm just going to tap off some of the excess and we're just going to blend outwards. I'm kind of going into the second shade a bit, so. Mm. Okay, it's nice, it's a little bit, it's taking its time to kind of build up. The thing is, I don't want to put on too much and then there's going to be so much fallout on my cheek, so we're doing alright. Okay. So you can hear the background. It's just buses, <laughs> buses in my area. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in with Ursula because I want to just darken out the edges just a bit more. It does look quite nice on this side, but I think the other side needs a bit more love. So I remember watching Little Mermaid when I was little. And just being completely obsessed with Ariel. I mean, at the moment, my pajamas are from <laughs> our Little Mermaid that I've had for oh, a few years now. But they're just so comfy. And I got them in Primark, but you won't be able to get them anymore. But yeah, no matter how old I am, Disney is going to be just the best. Okay, I always felt like I could relate to Ariel quite a bit. It's like a heart to heart moment now that we're having. <laughs> um, yeah, I just love the fact, love the way, I'm just going with Ariel under my um, lower lash line. Um, kind of grew up in such a, um, a big family and being the outsider, I can completely relate to that on so many levels. And being expected to do and be a certain person um, and falling in love with the wrong person. <laughs> That is basically not the wrong person, but as in the people that your your family or your you know relatives won't approve of because they're different. So that's me, <laughs> basically. I am the you know land aerial, and I often have red hair. So conspiracy, but okay. This is looking really really nice. Um, it's definitely much better <laughs> in person because you be able to get the vibrancy of the purple. I'm gonna go in with my inner corner. Um, I'm gonna take my aerial brush because it seems to be the smallest one here. Um, I'm gonna go with Dingle Hopper, which is just here and I just dug my finger in that. But it seems like it's more of a duochrome white, but let's see if this does anything. Ooh, ooh, okay. 
That is pretty cute. Can't wait to use more of this palette. I'm actually not in a horrible way, but I'm amazingly surprised at the quality because sometimes, like I said, you can be very hit and miss when it comes to iHeart Revolution products because sometimes they can be good and sometimes they can be completely bad. Um, and yeah, that's me just using like three or four shades today and it's looking good. I, I don't know if it was the primer that helped. I'm going to go back in with Ursula a bit just because I feel like we need just a bit more just to darken up the corners um, and we're done. So that has come out super nicely. I'm really um, happy with that. I'm just going to go back in with Alana. I forgot to mention that actually Alana is the shimmer. So I believe that's one of Ariel's sisters because they all start with an A <laughs> and because that's the only thing I can really think of because there's no other character I can think of with that name. But yeah, this is my look using the Little Mermaid palette overall. Um, pretty damn good, especially for £15. I mean, if it wasn't for the blushes and highlighters, I felt like £15 would probably be too much. But I, I guess because of that that's why this is a bit more expensive and just the packaging is so gorgeous and then on the back you just get like the little writing like it's a book basically um but yeah overall i'm pretty happy i will be using this again very soon uh but yeah this has been my review of the little mermaid palette let me know what you think let me know if you picked it up and what kind of look you've done with it because i'm very intrigued to see what else can be done but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on my social media because I'm always active on there. And I hope you're having a good week. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.